we're back at it again here. So this round, still haven't got anything for the brakes. Not really worried about the front stuff because that's like really easy to do. Um, like I said last time, we have our needle scaler. So I think this round, what I'm going to do here, the plan is to get some paint. So I think the way I'm tackling this, we're going to go grab, essentially this is a needle scaler. It's like an air hammer with a whole bunch of needles. So you kind of just go over it and it should knock all this loose stuff off to which then we can zap it again. So I want to do that. But I think first things first is we're going to go basically pop the hood or take the hood off. And I want to just get this motor and tranny out so we can get under the hood, clean that all up. Because it would be really nice just to have most of just the actual chassis all done. And clean, uh, get some paint on it I would like. At least that's my goal. Um, I still have to tomorrow go in and see if I can find some tube. I uh, checked, called a few places, nobody had. So not that size. So I don't know. I'm going to call a few more. If not, we're going to make something. That's just what we have to do. <laughs> All right. Well, first things first, let's get this thing down. Let's get the hood off. I guess, uh, actually, I'll go underneath there. We'll take the transmission mount out, get the motor mounts out. If they're in there, I don't know. And then, uh, yeah, we'll pluck that thing out, seeing how we got our forklift all fixed. We should be able to squeeze around there and lift it out. I hope so.
switch gears. Decided to just run my new little needle scaler as much as I could there. So you can see the right out of the box what that laser welder would have done, or sorry, that laser cleaner would do without any prep. <clears throat> if you just went at it, this is basically the real finish you would get. It did surprisingly well considering, but yeah, if there was flaky rust, she's not so good, especially even down here. Like, wow, was there, eh? Did not uh, on the dip and stuff. But that's okay. Now I know. So basically needle scale is the first thing on something heavy. Like I say, if it's flash rust or if it was this steel plate where you don't have heavy flaky rust, like stuff like this, it can't do nothing with, you know? We can't knock that off. Anyways, I know I've blabbed about that a lot, but I guess what happens is I'm thinking anyways, if a feller was uh, paying somebody to do this and nobody was prepping the frame right, you'd be pretty disappointed in the job. I can tell you that much. If you're driving down the road with your freshly painted thing and it just all this stuff starts flaking off like that. That would suck a lot. <laughs> all right, so we have all that stuff all done. I think now I'm gonna lower it. I'm gonna take the hood off uh, and see what's, uh, what's all holding my motor in. I'd like to get that out. I basically went and needle scaled this stuff, but uh, once I get the hood off and I get in there, I'll be able to blitz all this stuff again. Kind of revisit everything and then uh, pull out the machine, give it one more big old blast. And uh, we'll see, maybe we get inside of here. Maybe we work on some inner fenders yet, I don't know. I don't know if I'll do that now or I'll do it later. I'm feeling a little later, but again, we'll see what, uh, yeah, I don't have the heads or nothing on there. The only thing I have to worry about is because in here I'm gonna have my headers, so I don't wanna build my inner fender and not really know where my headers are gonna go. Hmm. Let me open the hood and we'll have a peek here. Now, as you can see, maybe you can't. <laughs> when the header's on, this is kind of how I built this thing. Oh, seems like she's a little, she's a little warped on top of that. Can you say a header leak? Anyways, it's kind of gonna shoot that way. Well, that should work out. So we can come there, come down, and then shoot under the rocker like I wanted. But it makes the inner fender a little goofy. But we do have my inner fender still. I could trim them and re-weld them back in. You know, maybe we'll do that. I'll have to get the one side done. We've got to trim around the arm and the header. And then just reuse this head on the other side. We only got one single head on this motor. Mm -hmm. You can see we got nada on this side and then we have to do the steering too man i hope i provision for that <laughs> oh that would suck man i hope i did i don't know we'll find out maybe i'll put the head on that side we'll see how that header looks on there first see if i totally screwed this up maybe we'll just put regular manifolds on and figure something out <laughs> the thought of all my steering so I kind of built a little hoopty doo to go around there so I mean it's a little tight but the steering also is supposed to be down at a downward angle there so cool plus I realize I have a residual valve up here so that means I can pull the one off the chassis down there that I've been kind of scrubbing around we don't need that one Got our power steering up in the front Oh yeah, this will be easy. And the hood should be super, well, the hood is super easy to take off. All we gotta do is either, well, I guess I just, well, I must have lost one of them bolts. I need to pop them off down here or up top. And then it looks like I have to finish welding all of this stuff because I never did that. Then, uh, 
I guess we can kind of like, this is sitting, run a bolt or two in there. We'll go grab our other fender wells, inner fenders, and we'll kind of trim it. So it kind of goes over all of this and then we can actually like weld them back in. That way we can uh, progress to getting this all zapped in and paint on everything would be pretty nice. went pretty good I mean not perfect but it went okay <laughs> like this side's pretty good I had the header going through it's perfect well good enough this whole edge just needs to get trimmed up and things not too worried about it uh, basically we're just gonna re-weld it back in I guess years and years ago I cut them out and I don't know if I was gonna put them back in or what my thought process was on that uh, this side here same thing I got a little aggressive over there and I could fill this spot too because I feel like kind of could have could have closed this a little more but eh, it'll be the alternator, it'll be stuff. It's not that 
not that big of a deal. At least now I feel okay that I can take this off, take uh, the engine trans out, and then we can get in here, start cleaning. I can finish welding this. I don't know how uh, crazy I'm gonna get with like any body work or anything. I'm not a person who really cares about the appearance under my hood, so to say. Like I'll clean it up a little, but I'm not gonna body work under the hood. There's no way of that. <laughs> Anyways, we'll have to do a slice over there because I will try to clean that a little better. I just lapped it a bit. It looks the part, so we'll kind of butt weld that. All of this and uh, pull motor trends and I think we can just start cleaning and actually clean the firewall off and get it actually ready for, hopefully I can get some paint on it. That would be nice. Anyways, get the forklift and uh, well, see what I got for holding my motor mounts in here. I think there's bolts, but I don't think anything's tight. So yeah, shouldn't be too bad. <laughs>
see if we've been jetting along here. Man, so we kind of welded that all up. Ah, dang, I gotta grind that. Uh, there, not too worried about down there. Up here, we just tacked, similar to like the factories we wanted to punch out. I'm actually just gonna put a little bit of seam sealer on it. I'm not gonna go a wall, try to smooth out my firewall. I'm not putting that kind of effort in. Same as in here, like I said, I wasn't gonna do any body work, nothing. We'll just throw a heavy coat of paint. Maybe we'll undercoat that just to cover it up, to get a little bit of texture and then we'll paint over it. I don't know. Um, what else we got going on here? I think we're about ready to blitz it for another time or like take our cleaner because we needle scaled everything in here. That's all done. So now I'm pretty much just going to laser everything one more time because now we're down to the nitty gritties. And uh, well, I guess after that, we'll come back. I'll be able to put a little bit of seam sealer on all this stuff up there. And then uh, we'll kind of be close to ready to shoot some paint on everything I think I think it's about time I'm gonna wait till I do that and then we're gonna hit everything I kind of noticing after I put the inner fenders in I won't be able to put a battery in there so at some point I'm gonna have to build a battery box somewhere around here I think we'll try maybe I can get a smaller battery up there yet I'm not sure won't know until the motor and stuff's in because like the heater core is there through the fenders almost is where the heater lines come through because we sectioned it so I kind of hooped that area a bit Hopefully I can do that without getting anywhere near my wheels, but if I can fit a battery box, I would love to do that. But if I don't, again, we'll do it under the truck somewhere. Uh, all right, well, let's fire up that thing.
That's a lot of work, eh? <laughs> all right, I don't know. I think all together I had a couple hours dinking around here. Uh, I still haven't ground that, but we blasted the inner fenders. I blasted the firewall, but I feel it should get primer. So that said, I'm just gonna put a heavy coat of paint. <laughs> uh, it should be roughed up enough, but I might go over with a scuff pad. I will do it on the fenders. We'll just spray on there directly and then we'll see how that goes. Uh, we did there. I did blitz here, like inside. I did the inner fender as well. We got all the frame all done again. Um, yeah, I guess it's pretty much just have to blow it off, wipe it down, and we can shoot some paint on some stuff. It was, I first hit this thing because I was just trying to blitz through and kind of do like a bigger pattern. So I just cranked that thing right up, hit her at 1500 watts. That way I could just stand back and it wasn't as focused, but it didn't need very much on here. So, I don't know, I feel it's pretty good, but. Some other folks had said for the price of that machine, they could buy a lot of rust converter. <laughs> They're probably right. But the, all you'd be able to, have to do is wire brush it and it would just be a complete disaster. You kind of seen the little bit of mess I had here. That wasn't terrible. That little pile of everything that I've been doing. So actually there's, there's more to that pile yet. There's some more stuff that needs to go into that. But anyways, I think we are just about ready to mix up some paint, eh, bud? After we uh, give this thing a little scrub down. Sound like a plan?
Well, folks, check it out. We got some paint. Mostly for the bottom side stuff, because my plan is, uh, once this dries a little more, it's pretty good right now, but once this dries a little more, I'm just going to shoot a bit of paint on the back side, because I basically want to mount the bed and not take it back off again. That's kind of my plan. We do have to get in here, still do the bag mounts, so we'll probably have to clean up and uh, zap a few things, but that's not a, not a big problem. We got done under the hood here. This part looks pretty good, nice and shiny. I don't know, the light's gonna help you at all? I don't think so. <laughs> Just is what it is. It's okay. Actually, it's pretty good. You can still see some of the laser line, like the little cross hatching, but I'm okay with that. Had a guy primed it, it would be probably pretty good. Like prime, give it a quick sand. For what I want, it looks perfectly fine. Um, yeah, I don't know. Not much else to show here because we're kind of, kind of done. Did it? So the next steps are going to be we're going to start reassembling everything. Uh, get that, get the master, and the pedals back in, stuff like that, and then oh, it feels dry, but it needs a little bit. I'm going to leave it a little bit, and then we can uh, refit the hood and stuff, wherever that is, right there. That'll probably need some paint underneath there as well yet, but hey, I'm pretty happy making some progress. Kind of semi-mounted my, I got to basically bolt these down. We're going to have to bolt the tank back in. I'm just trying to figure out all my fittings and stuff. I need a few adapters. I forgot I had to do a pressure switch, so I'll have to adapt that into somewhere. And then uh, from here, I can kind of do my line go up into the cab for my controls, stuff like that. What do we do? Yeah, I don't know. Not too bad. Check it out. <laughs> it's black. I like it. So we got there totally under the cab all done too. So, hey, like I say, next round I'm going to splash a little bit of paint. We're going to get the box bolted down. I think I'll probably finalize, get the fuel tank kind of into there. And, uh, well, I don't know. Let's see where we go from there. Thinking... Hopefully I have parts for Esther's car so I can get it out the door and then uh, uh, I can get my donor in here and we can pull the motor out, get that cleaned up and then uh, get it sitting in here and figure out a few things. I like it. We did a little bit of work on rollies, but I'll probably do that next video. We'll kind of go over what we've done and what we're doing. Anyways, folks, I think that is where we are going to leave this one. As always, I want to thank you all for watching, and we will catch you on the next one. Later.